On the left hand side here we have Instant Contact Manager app. So to copy the default contact list to a group of users we're going to go to Tools, Copy Contact List to Multiple Users. First we select a buddy list, so this is going to be a CSV format. So we can take a peek at what the full buddy list looks like in the CSV format. So it's these are the groups, the group names, and these are the contacts that are going to be in the groups. So it's just group comma contact name. And you can see we have lots of groups and lots of contacts. So if we select that file, it'll give us a preview that 70 contacts were found in that buddy list. And that's going to be the default buddy list that the next group of users gets. So to select the users, we're going to select another CSV. And this looks rather similar, except it's the user's name and then their email address. Just um, each on their own line, separated by a comma. So we select this, we get a preview that there were seven users found there, and we're licensed for 500 users, so we're well within our limit, and we can hit go. So first it's going to connect to Exchange. It's going to do this with an admin account that has the rights to impersonate each of these seven users. Now that works because our Skype for Business instance has, um, we've configured it so that the contact list provider is UCS. So this is our Skype for Business configuration info. The contact list provider is UCS and we have a UCS connectivity state of an active exchange connection. So it's connected and I'm the first user being processed. You can see on the right hand side I don't I have an empty buddy list right now. So the users are the top progress bar and the bottom progress bar is how many how far into the default buddy list it is. So there's 70 contacts there. It's almost halfway done. So when the application is done processing myself, the Rachel Quimby user, you'll see that my Skype for Business client will refresh because it has that exchange, active exchange connection, and it's grabbing its contacts from UCS. Um, it'll refresh every once in a while, and those new contacts will be brought down. If it doesn't happen automatically, you can force the issue by signing out and then signing back in. So you can see I have these contacts here, and it's still processing the other users, so all these other users are going to get the same contact list as me. Um, you can see the groups have shown up, all of the users are in the groups and this happened fairly quickly.